The daily challenges that I'm going to go over in this video today are pelicans, English mace, animal teeth, and killing animals. So there's going to be a lot of different places that you can get this done. I try to strategically do things to have a purpose other than just going somewhere to do one thing and then leaving. So we're going to go ahead and start off down in South Lemoyne where we're going to go ahead and get three of these done. And then I'm going to take you up to O'Cray's Run where we can get the English mace and also be able to have a good fishing spot and a great place to do strange missions to make some extra money and XP. So the first one we're not going to spend too much time on. You can do this anywhere. That is kill 20 animals and you can do that pretty easily. You don't even need to skin them or pluck the feathers or anything like that. But I figure while you kill them, it's a great way to go ahead and get some money. Also XP for the kills. So it's a great way to get a lot of meat, feathers, if you want to go ahead and, you know, cook some food or sell whatever. You know, you also have the challenge for selling animal teeth and there's a good location if you're in this same area where you can get your pelicans and your animals killed where there's a lot of alligators that spawn right there so unfortunately this first part of this clip was cut out now we're going ahead and discussing the pelicans there are a couple spots but uh specifically along the west coast just to the west of braithwaite manor sometimes you can't find them on the beach or on the shore but there is one spot right here on the dock where it spawns consistently now, I'm going to recommend that if it is nighttime, go ahead and kill your 20 animals, go get an alligator's tooth, and then come back to the spot during the day. And uh, that's obviously the best chance to find the pelican or a lot of animals in this area. So that was the first kill. He's usually perched up on top of that little post right there. A lot of times when you kill him, he does fall into the water. Sometimes you can go right to the edge and pick him up. Sometimes you have to go into the water and kind of push him to shore before you can pick him up. So that is a little bit of a hassle, but he does spawn here consistently. In the last clip, I ended up just leaving the area for a little bit after I killed him the first time, came back, and he was perched up there again. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing in this clip. I'm going to take off from the area just to show you that he does spawn again. Although I don't recommend you shooting him from this distance because he will disappear by the time you get there. But this is just to show you if you take off out of the area and you can't find the ones on the coast, that's a pretty reliable one. Now take advantage of the amount of XP and feathers and carcasses that you can get from these birds. I used to grind this area pretty hard before the updates because there is almost an unlimited spawn of birds. And you can go ahead and take advantage especially of the tricolor feathers, the carcasses, and uh, get a lot of XP while you're here. So it looks like Rockstar is really trying to get people to go to New Austin considering the past three days we've had the Desert Sage, the Red Sage, and then also the English Mace, which is pretty common to this area over here in Rio Bravo all the way over to Rio Del Lobo. But the problem is you do have some knuckleheads that want to act up. It definitely is the Wild West out there. Whether you fast travel or spawn in, you never know what to expect. So I like to be a little different, as I said. I like to have a purpose when I go to a certain spot instead of just going there, getting one thing, and then leaving. So... That's specifically why I took you here. You can go ahead and get your five English mace from this location. If for some reason your challenge does not register for you, you may have to go ahead and respawn back in the same location to go ahead and get that done. But specifically why I brought you here is because there is a great fishing location where you have tons of salmon that will spawn, a bunch of other fish too. There's not many people to mess with you. And there also is a good connection of strange missions between Ansberg and O'Cray's Run. So that's why I came here and give you guys this little tip on a great way to go ahead and get some XP and some cash and really maximize this area. So you can go ahead and do the strange mission starting from Ansberg, which a lot of the times will take you to O'Cray's Run. And you usually have to go ahead and transport a wagon. And once I get there, you usually have a lot of time left. And I'll go ahead and go here and I'll start fishing. I'll get my 20 salmon. If I have some time, I'll get some other fish. The good thing about salmon is they don't put up much of a fight. And even when they do, you can reel them in very quickly, as you'll see in these next clips. So that's why this is a great location for me. I did mention you guys a couple days ago, or I have mentioned in the past, that in order to get my Panther saddle, I had to grind to get my last six gold bars. And I was doing this Ansberg to O'Cray's run mission back and forth. What you do, obviously, to maximize your benefits is once you get to the location, you wait until like about 30 seconds before the mission's about to be over, and then you go ahead and deliver the wagon so you get more money and more XP and more gold. But what I would do is I would get out and I would come over here and I would, you know, fish as much as I could. Again, it's great to know that there's not many people in this area that are going to mess with you. You can get $2.50 for each one of these salmon. And usually I can get two salmon within one minute. So it's not a lot of money. It's five bucks. But if you think you're doing a stranger mission, 
and you're getting an extra five bucks for every minute that you're sitting here while you're waiting for the timer to count down you know it actually ends up working out pretty good and then a lot of times it'll work out where you waited so long that you can go ahead and start up this mission which will usually take you to Ansberg and you can go ahead and repeat that process so hopefully this helps so if you guys like the locations if not go do your own thing you know get your challenges done it doesn't really bother me i'm just trying to give you a little bit of help just remember i do have a giveaway going on that ends sunday 6 p.m there are three videos where you can go ahead and comment on to have a chance to enter in the same giveaway it's very easy no bs like follow me on social media like the video subscribe blah, blah. it's just answer the question that i ask in the videos and that's it thanks for watching guys hope it helps see you next time